Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes with the High Vibrations. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and light to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. Take what resonates. Understand everything is not going to resonate with you and your situation, but take what does and leave what does not. First off, I'm going to call on the highest one of protection, Archangel Michael Peter, me as I channel these messages. Nothing but clear and accurate messages for the collective. So, y'all, I do turn my comments off because I'm not the type of person to go back and forth. Um, if I get a download, I get a download. I don't care how that is, okay? Um, people speak upon things and say things about knowledge, wisdom, wherever it comes from. Everybody perceives knowledge and wisdom in different ways, and nobody is here to judge anyone. Okay, so I'm just going to put that out there. I'm not going to explain myself because some people just need to focus on their own journey. Um, use their own discernment when it comes to situations and the knowledge that they perceive. Okay, this is just guidance. One, 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 as I say this. And it's not going to be for everyone. My messages aren't going to be for everyone. And people have multiple gifts. Some people aren't just high priestess. Some people are more than just a high priest. Some people are a prophet. Some people are, you have different gifts. So take what resonates. I pick up on energy. I read energy. So if I pick up a message for a prophet, that message might come out in a different way, okay? People perceive knowledge in different ways, okay? People perceive life. People have their own perception. 144 as I say this. So this is not, no, no judgment. This is a no judgment zone, okay? so. If you like my messages, subscribe, follow, like. If you don't, you can always find another freedom. Okay, that's all. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> okay, give me one card. What does the collective need to know as far as the current energy? Healing. So yeah, something's all about healing for you. Something's all about healing, okay? Like I said, this is a no judge free zone. It's all has to do with you healing and harmonizing something on your own using your own intuition in all aspects of life. Because everyone has their own intuition, okay? And we all have to learn to turn that intuition on, on our own. However that looks, whatever that looks like. Give me one card, what's going on for the collective? So you're healing right now, clearing your karma. One card. Yeah, you're going through some type of transition. Someone could see that something is like ease for you because you're an alchemist and you're remembering that you're an alchemist. Yeah, whoever this person is, they are in denial about your connection here with Gaia energy, with the great mother, the universe. So yeah, like I said, I'm picking up on this energy. This is a judge free zone. So however one perceives knowledge, okay, when it comes to light and dark energy, it has to do with their own intuition. So you guys are receiving your own guidance. You're going through some type of dark night of the soul. You know. Yeah, and somebody's worried about this. I'm learning that worrying doesn't change the outcome. So you're not worrying about this. Someone else is worrying about your knowledge. They're worried about your wisdom. They're worried about your healing process. Somebody doesn't want you to heal. Somebody feels like your healing uh, is bothering them. It's like, like I said, it's giving me a judgmental energy. What's going on? Yeah, this person is mad. Yeah, what do I say? Alien, because this person feels like you're an alien. It's something about your knowledge, how you perceive knowledge, your telepathic gifts, the transition that you're going through. And someone has purpose. Yeah, because you're too busy winning. They have proof. So it's giving me like somebody, <laughs> they can say what they want to say about your knowledge, but they know it's like real gym. Yeah, they know you went through a real ascension. You went through a real awakening. Here. So yeah, something's real. I'm telling you, something is real. And somebody got proof that it's real. Four, 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 as I say this. This is what's revealed to them. Come on. Yeah, you can be moving. Okay. 
someone also has proof that you are listening to your intuition because you're moving forward. Because your intuition is your, your guide, your GPS, okay? So you're moving forward. And this chord shouldn't even be right here. Truth is your teacher. I don't even know where that chord came from. But truth is your teacher. Someone does not like your knowledge. Yeah. And someone knows that you pray for something, okay? But they don't realize that you have a lot of passion for your spiritual quest. Yeah, faith. It's like somebody wants you to feel the need to be accepted. I keep picking up on this. Yeah, they want you to be confused. <laughs> but you're not in the energy of confusion. Like I said, it's something about energy. Uh, your energy changes. It changes. If you pick up on energy, so if you are a reader, if you pick up on energy, you pick up on energy. So at, at that's anyone's energy. Discovery. You're on a journey to discover yourself and to bring enlightenment when it comes to your destiny. Somebody's bothered by your growth. You know, somebody's bothered by your knowledge. They're bothered by your destiny. But something was faded for you. Yeah, you're not being rejected. What is going on? Someone's trying to say that your spiritual quest is vanity. Somebody's trying to say your spiritual quest is not valid from the most high, but like, like what? Yeah, but you have a lot of passion. How is it not valid if you love doing it? <laughs> this card is just on the floor of judgment. I feel like somebody's jealous. They feel like you feel like you're perfect, but no, it's your wisdom. It's not nothing about being perfect, it's just your wisdom. You perceive knowledge in a different way. It's very my mystical. Yeah, your spiritual quest. Something's very mysterious. It's supposed to be. It's giving me energy like, okay, the matrix. When it comes to perception, when it comes to your spiritual quest, a lot of people just base it off of one certain type of knowledge. No, but you can use all of those different knowledges and combine them into something else. It's like no one really knows the true story behind Jesus, behind God. This is why it, it's mysterious. This is why your spiritual journey is mysterious because no one's supposed to know your journey behind whatever journey someone God has you on. Nobody's supposed to know this. Like, nobody is supposed to know, like, exactly what God is teaching you. Only you should know. So, like, even with the messages I'm hearing, only you should know. Only things should resonate with you. If it does not resonate with you, then somebody is confused about your perception, about your spiritual journey. Yes, yeah, joy. They're confused of how you are still having joy. Because someone thought something was going to end for you because they thought that it was sanity. They thought it was wrong. Someone wanted you to feel guilty. Your instinct was telling you that somebody was trying to trick you. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody feels like you're perfect. But I just feel like you guys are very wise. You receive knowledge, like, directly from the most high. And that's how you are expanding. I'm not going to explain this. Somebody wants something to be explained, baby. I'm not going to explain this. Like, somebody wants y'all to, like, explain yourself. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. They want you to explain how you have this energy of getting your wishes fulfilled. They want you to explain. And I feel like you're not explaining yourself. You're like, I'm healing. That's all. That's it. The end. Literally. I can't make this up. The devil to the empress. Someone wants you to explain your connection to the most high, but you know somebody is like demonic. Why is the devil here? It's just giving me this energy exactly what I said. Like, no one's supposed to know. Like, you think God really wants you to tell the enemy all your plans and goals? You know somebody was like the devil. Like, 
join the group to try to take you down because of your gifts. You have multiple gifts. These people didn't know that it's okay about you. So they opened some type of portal. They weren't healed. So something's going back on them. Why is the star reverse? Yeah, justice. Something's going back on them. Because whoever you are, you are justice. Truth is always your teacher. Truth is your teacher. You speak your truth. It doesn't matter how somebody don't like it or what they don't like about it. It's your truth. <laughs> like the Matrix. And I keep her to like the Matrix. So somebody is like, I guess stuck in the Matrix. They're not understanding something. And it has a lot to do with your knowledge. Some of y'all, you could even have occult-like knowledge, okay? And these people are actually in an occult, and they're trying to figure out how do you know? How do you know these things? Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Why two of Pentacles there? I can't make this up. The hang one. Somebody has a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge here. Somebody else, but they feel stuck to this group. Three of Pentacles. They feel stuck to this occult. Somebody's trying to get out of this. Somebody else is trying to get out of this. This is why somebody is like mad and enraged that you're healing because they're trying to, it starts with healing. It starts with self. Like I said, something, is, it starts with yourself. Like you don't just jump in a group and, this, and expect, like, I, don't know. I mean, some people, yeah, you need to work with people. But I feel like first you must work on yourself in order to work with people. Okay, like why is it three of pentacles? You work you worked on yourself, you healed yourself. I feel like that's the problem here. Somebody don't, they don't like the fact you're healing and you're rejecting them. It's like somebody wants to take you out. We got the king of cups. With the hair fine? Why is the king of cups the hair Queen of Swords. Somebody also could be speaking some type of truth of like how they feel about someone because they've been watching you. Someone sees how strong you are. There is somebody else that is watching this, seeing this all go on in the background, and somebody knows something your destiny. Somebody also could be spying into divination and they figure something out as well. But it changes. I don't know if y'all seen some. Somebody sent me a picture of them changing the zodiac signs okay so like this is what i'm talking about with the matrix how the fuck y'all gonna change some shit that was already written in stars but it's just giving me this energy of the matrix because it's like somebody can even look into your destiny but like i said they just changed the zodiac so it's like things is always switching up and we are in the year of aquarius so things is constantly switching up things is constantly happening right now and uh damn Somebody really just thought they already knew something. It's like, what's for you is already for you, I'm hearing. So even with somebody looking into your birth chart and looking to your placements, it doesn't mean that, that stuff is gonna happen. It's like, God can always switch things up. That's what I'm gonna say. Somebody's stuck in the matrix right now. Yeah, page of cups. Somebody can want to apologize. Yeah, the Empress, because they know you embody. There's something about you guys embody. You have a lot of different gifts that you embody with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like destined. It's like somebody definitely has been looking into your birth chart, your destiny. Somebody could want to apologize for doing this. This could be if somebody in your family with the Ten of Cups, because they're under judgment. I'm hearing people think they don't get in trouble for that. Like, God sees you. <laughs> like, God sees you. Like, literally. Five of Wands with the Nine of Wands. I can't make this up. God sees you. When you're jealous in competition with other people, okay, God sees this. You're projecting. He sees your projections. Just like he sees this Empress minding their business, using their gifts to change the will for them. Like you're not doing nothing wrong. Whoever you are, you're not doing nothing wrong. You're just healing. You're walking into your destiny and somebody acts like they don't they can't get karma for that. Seven of Cups. They feel like something is an illusion, but it's only God putting them into the illusion. Like I said, it's like somebody wanted to figure something out. They're not figuring anything out, 
but that you are in your destiny. But somebody's wondering, like, how are you in your destiny or how something happened? Judgment. They need to quit worrying about it. <laughs> okay? They just need to quit worrying about it. Worry. Denial. Worry. These people are in denial and they're worried about this. Like, I, I don't Yeah. Yeah, a page of swords, they watch and they spine. Five of Wands. Somebody could, like, really want to bring you conflict or somebody's really in conflict in their head about this about your happiness about your destiny about your fortune like this is i'm tired of picking up on this yeah seven of wands these people are blocked two of cups they're also watching to see if they blocked a lover like what the like people just need to worry about themselves okay please the love was with the nine of swords somebody Somebody also could have did something to like mess up your family dynamic. If you have a family with someone, yeah, it's of swords. That's the truth. Like these people are, yeah, ten of swords. Somebody, <laughs> these people's goal is to end you, end whatever it is that you have going on. But the, you have a lot of clarity when it comes to your family dynamic. When it comes to your investments, you're a high priest, so you know it's something about your intuition. You're an empress. You can have a lot of gifts. You can be very intuitive. You're very connected to Gaia energy. So you're very connected to ancestors. Somebody's trying to have hope that you haven't given up on them. But I feel like you're not into this person. Or maybe you are. Yeah, but this person feels sad because they're watching you. This is somebody in the past. A lot of you all, you do have like Egyptian blood ties. You could be reflecting, or this person could be reflecting them. But you're moving on. You know, twin flame, what I say, a lot of y'all, it has something to do with a twin flame connection. Maybe you guys detached from this person and somebody was gossiping about you, or you just have people gossiping about your love life. <laughs> Yeah, these people feel haunted by memories. It's only because they miss you and are sad that they. It's giving me you're ignoring these people because somebody just wants to know like something about some type of twin flame, a lover. Yeah, they want to cock block. <laughs> what? Like this is weird. Like who's out? Yep, karmic friends. I can't make this shit up. They're stalking you. Somebody also feel like you don't deserve love. Word. Have drastic marks that are in reverse. Somebody thought somebody was gonna cut you off, but this person didn't cut you off. So now somebody's trying to look and see, literally, if this person is still around you. Because somebody feel like you tapped into an inheritance. I'm, I'm telling you, somebody look into they. It's safe fishing for comments in jackpot, but I'm telling you, somebody that you cut off, a karmic friend that was in secret competition, was looking into like trying to get some type of information about your destiny, about your inheritance. That's what I'm getting. Dirt digging. Looking for dirt on you. Or advice. Or getting readings done. Because you rejected them. And somebody could be telling this person that you're not rejected. <laughs> yeah, you're unfazed. You know, yeah, you just discorded the trash because you went through an ascension. You're going through some type of awakening her. So, like, people are going to have to give up this war because, yeah, somebody's going to have to give up some type of war because you're here to honor. Give me one for the collective. This could be people in your family as well. Somebody could be having to go to court. Why is family room? Yeah, somebody didn't want you to be a privileged lady, lady, and somebody is actually understanding that they are not a privileged lady. If somebody thought they was privileged or something, they're not. Yeah, and you're not in despair about this journey. <laughs> what? Yeah, because it was false person. So somebody in your family, so somebody could have been dealing with somebody in your family. Somebody was a false person or a friend. These people were false. Okay, these people weren't really your your friend, your family, your friends. These were foes. Yeah, nah, you changed. So you could have moved. Did you held in high honor? You could have moved. And when you moved, it caused somebody to have issues. 
So when you when you walk away from people, it causes them to have issues because people are already against you. That's what I'm hearing. People are already against you. These entities are already said to be against you. Yeah, adjudication. Somebody was trying to take you to court about your gifts. But it was only to steal from you. It was only to steal from you because somebody knew your destiny. This could be an older woman, a mature woman. Yeah, it has something to do with your occupation, your work, what you do for work. I feel like there's an official person. You could be expecting somebody to come towards you. Yeah, and tell you about some money, great fortune. And somebody's concerned about this because they did a lot in the background to steal something her. Yeah, mature man, and then we have a child. So this could have something to do with a child? Or since she was a child, you were supposed to be this, uh, you supposed to get this fortune, this great fortune? Yeah, something else. Somebody, I'm hurt, somebody could have got sick. And they could have left you something. What is this? Yeah, high honor. Somebody tried to take something because they seen that you was held in high honor, honey. And somebody definitely got sick. Or somebody could be sick for trying to steal this. Yeah, poverty. These people are thieves. It could be a whole community of thieves that's having thoughts her about a message, about you being wealthy. So different people having thoughts about your wealth, about your destiny. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, talking bad about you, okay? These people are talking bad about you. Like I said, somebody, they talk too much. And whatever they are saying, I'm telling y'all, it, it has a lot to do with your connection with your ancestors. This could even be a third party of somebody that you was dealing with with a third party. They had a third party attached to them. Or somebody could have used the third party. This person could dress like a tomboy. Some, somebody's weird. But these people are gold diggers, literally. Like, these people are worried about the wrong things. Like, they are <laughs> intimidated by your gifts, by your knowledge. Somebody could just want to be left alone. Somebody could be into uh, the same sex. Maybe this is why they was <laughs> intimidated by your gifts. Because somebody wants to come out the closet. It's like somebody wants to tell you something because they feel like you already know. You already know the truth. But you could not even be worried about it. Like I said, it's a lot going on. And <laughs> you break it free from the matrix. You are not worried about if somebody is into the same sex or not. Yeah, they can't beat you. They want to join you because this person is jealous. Yeah, this person is winning at all costs. It's like somebody teamed up with a group of people, winning a cult to do something against you because they going through pain. Yeah, and you have a contract to fulfill. These people talk too much. So this person is talking about you. So say if you do something, right, spiritually, you have a contractor, and these people are talking about you, but you have high rank in the spirit world. So something you are supposed to be doing is something you're supposed to be doing because you have a gift of love and compassion. Like I said, you can have multiple gifts because you're healing your family. And this could definitely be an older woman here that is in a mental disorder because they see you making healthy choices. So yeah, these people are mad you didn't want to be a part of some type of group coven, maybe. Yeah, and I'm telling you, <laughs> they was mad because you didn't want to be a part of some type of group of coven because you get your knowledge from the most high. Blaming you for they fuck up in God. Somebody could have even been like trying to copy you or whatever and y'all, they think, yeah, somebody that dressed like a tomboy. They can't tell the truth. Okay, because somebody was watching you and you are a light worker. We have, I don't deserve you. Finding comfort. I feel like these people, like I said, they feel like you don't deserve to be comfortable. That's what these people feel like. You don't deserve to be comfortable in life. Trying to get you locked up, stuck, or hurt. I had a curse. But yeah, they could have definitely went to the courthouse. You can have a strong past life connection with these people. And you know these people are wanting more because they was abusing their authority. So yeah, it's giving me that energy. Like they just mad because you have a connection with the both high. And there's something about, yeah, angels protection and this too shall pass. So it's something about you being the energy of like, you know, this too shall pass. Family ain't shit. As soon as I cut the day, you're not sitting around um, dwelling on something. 
somebody wants you to be lazy they want you to not somebody wants you to feel like them because they don't know what to think somebody really don't know what to think about you and they want you to explain something to them but somebody you don't have to explain to them it's mind over matter if this if this not has nothing to do with them why the, why do they care okay these people just want to know what you got going on and they invested in ending you because they just you didn't want to be a part of them yeah dark arts confirmation what i say angels protection you knew okay god knew that these people had contracts this person can have a contract with the devil okay we have obsessing playfulness excited so oh somebody can be pregnant with twins Okay, somebody could be pregnant with twins. This could be a karmic woman. Now somebody wants to let something go, her. We have karmic. Yeah, somebody's trying to say, you sound slow. They just mad because you got power, okay? Somebody is, they, they're mad because you have power, okay? They have no power. They have no power over this devil, over this entity, okay? This entity consumes them, and they hate on your moves because they, they feel like they hit you, broke their heart. Listen to your gut, okay? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. You have new knowledge. And somebody else, they have spiritual blockages here. These people are not trustworthy. And God gave you them downloads. That's why you are not around these people. Yeah, 666, you had to refocus your energy. Yeah, these people need to refocus their energy on their future. Because you have a whole leg legacy here. You have wisdom, okay? A legacy of wisdom. Ancient wisdom. Somebody is wondering, how do you get on that journey? I'm telling you, they're watching you. They are wondering how you get on a journey. <sighs> but it's because of God. This person's hurt and sad. Like, they hurting. Like, somebody's really sad about this. Twin flame, yeah. It's over a connection. They don't even have a reason to like you. They just <laughs> jealous. Like, you will meet a lot of people like this. That's why I said something about your testimony, like, you can't even talk about your testimony to people because people feel like you're bragging. And it, you don't even have to have a whole lot. It's just the fact, oh, you went through that and you got through that. Nah, you crazy. Nah, you're crazy. This is what I'm saying. They think you're crazy. But you have a purpose-driven life. And yeah, all of it is that you give up. This person's playing you. So yeah, somebody... Somebody's still trying to play with y'all. Uh, they are still trying to play with y'all. But they can stop on her because your ancestors is not going. Something is a marathon. The ball never drops. The ball never drops. I'm hurt the moment they think that they figured your figured your destiny out or figured you out is the moment God changes everything. It's like why would you give up today when tomorrow might be the day you win? And these people are winning at all costs. Learn to ride the ways of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is it to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it? Don't do that to yourself. So yeah, I feel like you guys are not fighting against it. You're not fighting against this change. You're riding the wave. Like I said, we end the year of Aquarius, so yeah, you're not fighting against it. Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. You need to know your worth even when others don't. You are not what people think of you. Yeah, if your mind fix, set is fixed, try to free yourself from that and rise above it. Don't place limitations on what you think you can achieve. Don't stand in your own way. Allow yourself to flourish in all ways. Welcome abundance in all forms into your life. Yeah, somebody just wants you to feel like that. You need you need them to fix fix something. You don't need these people. You don't need these people. You have God. This is why they, they are blaming you because somebody's watching you. They're watching your journey and they done went down the wrong path. Like Made a whole contract with my daughter. So then they like stuck with her until God says so. Because that's what they wanted for you. Like if somebody was doing something to kill you or get you out of here yeah, they gotta wait on God to see whatever judgment God has for them. Like, this is my what they. I'm heard it. This was not for them to do. Like it wasn't meant for them to study you. He wasn't nobody's case study. 
they should be studying and learning and healing on their own, learning their own self. Somebody need to learn their self. Yeah, because you are chosen. What's going on for the collective? He's man, I love you. Hard work. Somebody also feels like you don't have to work hard or something like that. But yeah, these people try to set you up. You are intuitive. You already know. Third eye chakra. Could you use your third eye? What did I say? These people get readings done on you all the time. Somebody could be between the ages 29, 62. This is an empress in reverse. We have candles connect with guides. Yeah, this was a karmic lesson. Yeah, these people sold they sold. This is why they have to suffer. Okay, because it was bad to want something that wasn't theirs. It was bad to want. They wanted something that you had. Now they're mad because it's your winter season. Like, you can't go around just wanting what everybody got. We have prayers, meditation, visualization, and divine protection. Yeah, this third party is obsessing with you because you tapped into your soul chakra. But you have divine protection. Abundance is your birthright. Yeah, and you are always winning. And somebody hates this. This is haters talking behind your back. Doing black magic. And, yeah, because they can't budget. Like, <laughs> get it together, Renee. <laughs> shit up y'all i am light i always have hope no matter the ordeal i have faith in a better future i turn darkness into light i open my heart to others and to god and i'm spiritually strong i draw light to me and shine with all my being exactly somebody's mad because you are light like you walk through the valley of shadow of death but you made it to the light somebody else is stuck in the dark okay they need help i'm hearing this song i'm slipping i'm falling i can't get up <laughs> Okay, that's all I got for y'all. Love and light. Namaste. I shame.